Well, hello, how are you? Thank you for coming in, Malaki. Thank Good you. One. Thank you yeah. Good to see you. Uh, do you know, it's, it's kind of crazy because already I'm beginning to think about the end of the year and sort of mm. reflect back on, on 2008, which is frightening because it, it, it hardly seems like we've been in 2008 long enough. But looking back at the year, has it been a fun, exciting, interesting year? I don't even know what's 2008. Yeah. I've lost count of the My calendar the, dates the are kind of a bit messed up. Uh, I've had a good year so far. Lost some money at the track. Gain some money at the back in back and, uh, and bonds, which mm. was cool. But after a crazy response to, to the debut, have you had a chance to, to maybe slow down a little bit to enjoy the success and, and also realise how big a band you had become? I suppose, yeah, yeah. But we only sort of... You don't really at the time because it's busy, you know, like, and you, uh, uh, one day it goes into the next and you don't really sort of think about it. Mm. It's when you stop, you think about it and you realise. We sort of decided recently that we did have a lot of things too good too soon, you know. Mm. You set a high standard. Yeah. And then you have to come down a little bit and realise that you know, it doesn't happen all the time, you know. Mm. No, it's difficult because you could put yourself into the ground trying to emulate kind of any success you got the first time around. Well, basically, as you said it yourself, we were our first one, it just went absolutely insane, so... Mm. I mean, a lot of that is just sheer luck. And at the end of the day, right time, right place. Did it keep surprising you, though, the way things would happen with that first album? I.e., you know, one song comes out, it's a hit, OK, well, the next thing would happen that would better the first thing. When yeah. is it going to end? The really sad thing is, it didn't seem strange. Well, that's, it just became the norm. <laughs> it's it's bad, just, you know. It's just scary. Yeah. It's, it, it, it means you sort of don't really, like you said, you don't really um, sort of take stock of it in any way, because you just go, ah. Yeah, well, that's what happens. Yeah. Isn't it? But as soon as there's a, it's not. Yeah, as soon as there's a slight downturn, you're like, "What's going on? Oh no, <laughs> what's happening?" <laughs> but, uh, even though you know it's not the norm yeah. the whole time, you know. But it's um, yeah. it's just it's a, it's, I suppose it's quite a weird situation to be in. But I think as long as you catch it in time, I think we did, and you realise that it's uh, right. We're still uh, a good band, etc. Blah blah, and you don't have to bow to certain pressures. For Is this the hardest thing about being in a band? Thing? Though uh, the actual talking about being in a band and talking about yourselves, and when you do these kind of things, when yeah. when people like me want to ask you questions about this and what you think about that, you go, "Well, do you know what? All we do, we we're in a band. End of story." I yeah. don't know. I find it really hard sometimes, though, to say that there's anything hard about being in a band. Some days there's everything hard about being in it, and you'll tell MD who'll listen. Yeah. Yeah. But most days, it's the best job that the people like us could ever ask for. Mm. You try telling mm. those people who want to be where you are right now that it's really exactly. we got to play here. It's an insult to those people, yeah. man. You know, I, I'd have felt insulted if, it was, if I was still back in Glasgow and I put on the radio and I heard some chump talking about how difficult it all was. <laughs> yeah, Sunday morning. You know, oh, it's, it's so hard here, selling a million records. It's a <laughs> nightmare. Yeah. Because there are, and the tragedy is, there are so many great bands who maybe will never get to who will never get that break and will never get the chance to, to play festivals and, and to get on the radio. So it's a little bit of a shame. Did you feel under pressure to do the second album, though? Who was who was putting you under the most pressure? Was it yourselves, yeah, was, record company, yeah. or, or the fans? John was putting me under the most pressure. Oh, I John, he was, he was wanting to get and record two weeks after we stopped. <laughs> I had to slow him down, and I think I got two months at him. But, um, See, we, 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 well, you know, we, the record label sort of never really got a look in the end. We, uh, I, bet, I bet they wish they'd had, but uh, <laughs> no, they didn't. I was desperate to make a new record, I suppose, because uh, you get you just get sick of playing the first one because we played it for eighteen months, you know. Do you find though that you uh, lose ownership of some songs as well? Obviously, Chelsea Dagger now is part of British society. You, Def it's not a song yeah. by the Fratellis; it's almost a national anthem. We keep saying it, you know. We don't own that anymore. Mm. It gets used in so many places that, that that you don't have any control over. So you just got to give it away, you know. Yeah. Not the royalties that is, but um, the. Yeah, you, th you, uh, just keep them. you reap to the rewards and then, as you say, it's just it's not yours anymore. But it must be, there must be a, a great sensation, a great feeling when, uh, you know, you can start that song at a gig or a festival and you might as well just sit back and let everyone else carry we on. Do, no, pretty no, much, no, we yeah. do pretty much. Just about every gig we do, we say before it, let's not play Chelsea Dagger the night and just mm. to see what happens, you know. Well, you'd yeah. get lynched, wouldn't you? Yeah, probably. Yeah. But yeah. You're in a, if you're in a kind of bad mood or in a foul mood or for any reason, and as soon as you start playing the opening chords to it, and if a song that can ignite a room like that, whether it's 2,000 people or umpteen thousand at a festival, then it just puts, it changes it straight away like that, you know? Tell you the other good thing, the other reverse of that, is that when you're having a really good set and you haven't played it yet, you know, yeah. things are going great and the crowd's, the crowd's just making you laugh the whole way through and you're like, oh, we still haven't played that yet. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's You know, nice. it's going to go yeah. another level, you know. You have uh, a new UK tour uh, coming pretty soon. It's uh, it's in November. Is is Glasgow always the highlight? I mean, is it just obvious that that is going to be the best show on the tour? <laughs> no, do you know what? No. 
Yeah. We used to think it would be, just for different reasons, obviously. It's but, um, pretty stressful. How many of your, your pals want to come? Yeah. It's, it's just a nightmare sometimes. <laughs> the time you, uh, your mum phones up and she's got 20 people she wants in. And then she's got like 12 aunties, six uh, of whom you've never met or even heard of. Uh, you're, you're, their uh, cousins, their cousins' cousins, <laughs> and all the daughters and sons. <laughs> and their neighbours. And, and can they come and meet you before it <laughs> and after it? <laughs> yeah. uh, you you may as well cool just band. not play there. Is that alright if we just pop backstage before the gig and bring 80 people? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you know, but other than that, the Glasgow guys are usually proud. Ah, they're good, great. You know. the, the fans are great, but your your family will forget that. Um, yeah, that, they're yeah. just proud of you, eh? They are. Yeah, they're just proud of you. Yeah. But let's not mourn. Well, it's a big, big city, and it's always the same. Can never be too pretty. Tell me your name, is it out of line? If I was to be bold and say, would you be my girl? And you may be the queen, or maybe. I'm still ready to dream Though it's three o'clock The time is just the time It takes for you to talk So if you're lonely Why'd you say you're lonely? Are you silly girl? I know I heard it so It's just like you to come Oh, 